Scorpios, what's up, you sexy motherfuckers? Welcome to the Gypsy's Tower. We're doing your love reading for the week. I hope I'm finding you all well. Remember, if the reading resonates, so please hit like and subscribe. If not, you can book a reading with me at the Gypsy's Tower. Links below in the description. Thank you for all your support, your likes, your shares, and your comments. You guys are amazing, and I love you. All right, what's coming up for my sexy Scorps this week? What do they need to know? Unrequited, one-sided love, not enough attraction, feelings are not mutual, cut through, emotional, mental clarity, secrets come to light, breakthrough. There's a lot of secrets coming out this week. It was in the other reading. Mental prison, overthinking, creating scenarios, thinking of you a lot. And at the bottom, we have memories. It says feelings of nostalgia, pleasure, and sadness stuck in the past. And then it does. It goes right back into the other reading here. We got love, activation, and spell work with broken promises and out in the cold with new love. Someone did try to use um, spell work, okay? Casting love spells, manipulating outcome, attracting love interest, and misled. So someone was trying to get someone to come towards them, but they still got left out in the cold because it didn't work. And this person feels like you are their new love, like you're holding it in your hand. Do you see this? Because this is exactly like the other reading in a way. Um, so if you're coming from that reading too, I, I feel like some of you are in here. Um, you knew that this person was one-sided and you said no. That's what I feel. You walked away from them and they feel like you're stomping on their heart and they can't stop thinking of you. For some of you, they might think you put a spell on them, but no. <laughs> you're just the Scorpio. Yep, grass is greener, unexpected visitor. So it might be that this person didn't expect to fall in love with you or vice versa. You know. What is this for Scorpios, please? Liquid courage. Okay, so someone <laughs> someone wants to come in and tell you something because they don't want to separate. They want to talk to you. So for some of you, this could be like a flirty message coming in. What's cut through? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So they're hearing about you. And then we got secret crush. So I do feel that this is someone who is trying to make a decision about you guys and where it's going. Yeah, we got grass is greener, unexpected visitor, and rebound at the bottom of the deck. Maybe someone's not making a decision here because that's where it's coming, how it's coming out, Scorpio, with the spiritual awakening in the reverse. So they just feel like you're star-crossed lovers and they want to flirt with you, okay? But they're not spiritually awoke, they're trying to rebound, and they're not going to make a choice. So again, this is a secret crush or this ex-lover that you've cut this situation off with. That could be someone who's going to be calling you to tell you that they want to know why you don't feel the same way about them as they do you. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Let's look at this a little bit more, but you're definitely telling them goodbye. And then there's this gossip. Because maybe there's a couple of energies talking about you around this person. They may act like they're not listening, but they are. And they do. They think of you a lot. And they may even talk about you a lot. That's another thing I'm hearing. This person talks about you a lot to others. Mm -hmm. What is this uh, one-sided love with liquid courage? What the hell is this? Lies being spread. Fake news. Fake rumors have been going around about you or the situation all lies no facts and keep shining your light irritates their toxic demons i told you someone's like eavesdropping a peeping tom looking over someone's shoulder listening to your private conversations and irresponsible lack of accountability careless about the consequences of their actions you can't rely on them so someone was saying that about you okay someone was saying you were irresponsible that you drink a lot because that's what I'm hearing. Look at this. And that you're not a role model. No money, no talk in the reverse. With digging for gold in the reverse. So all these people saw that this wasn't true. One-sided love, digging for gold, no money, no talk. This person just has split personalities and toxic bad habits. Okay, what was behind that? Hidden agenda. So there is someone around you, whether it's platonic or an ex here. It looks like a feminine. 
who's spreading rumor about you because this person doesn't want them. Or a masculine who acts like a feminine. But not a good one. Like a karmic feminine. <laughs> They're out there. What does ex-lover with cut through secrets come to light? Meeting your match. Unable to compete or fight against you because you're just as good as them. And deranged. Weird, strange, and twisted individual with divorce. Someone, your ex could be going through a divorce and this person's in a mental prison because they're a spirituality hater. Someone who is trapped in their head may suffer from mental illness or self-limiting beliefs. Hating on your beliefs. Not liking that you're untraditional and uncomfortable with your spirituality. Yeah, they feel like no one should come toward you. No one should listen to you. It's that kind of thing. And this person might want to fight or start some drama with you. But it ain't happening. Mm -mm. This person is strange. And your ex is cutting them off. Whoever it is. Or this is them trying to compete with your ex, but they can't because they're twisted. Yeah. What's this mental prison with gossip? It's almost like this person heard something and now they can't stop thinking about it. Energy drainer. This person will drain you of your energy and everything you have to give. With no limits, nothing can stop them. Continues on without restriction, going their own way. So this person, it's like they don't have the evidence, but they do day daydream of you. They're not a very generous person and they have used witchcraft because they wanted you to turn into some kind of slacker. All right. That's not going to work. This person wants to be all up in your business and act like they're not and that they don't want to be more than friends, but they keep sabotaging themselves with lies. Yeah, they do. They've tried everything. Okay. And people are starting to see that this person just won't stop either talking about you, thinking of it's very obsessive energy. And that's why I think witchcraft came up here. It's like this person really does want you to lose money not want you to be motivated, doesn't want you to level up, all right? Mm -mm. What's the secret crush and feelings of nostalgia, pleasure, sadness, and stuck in the fucking past? What is this? Truth unveiled. The truth has been or will be revealed in this situation soon. Secrets have been kept hidden that will come to light. And bad energy, low vibrational person, energy that feels dark, dense, and heavy, harboring suffering, fear, and anger. Yeah, this person was always partying and playing games, okay? This jealous for the clout energy here that wanted the person you were with. Mm-hmm. We got for the clout. Doing it all for the fame, views, attention, doesn't want to be left alone, fake. Someone who knows they're being childish and goofy but doesn't care when the situation calls for maturity, but then wants to get mad when you move on or you have something you like, wants the one you're with. So if you guys know someone like this, who was trying to like maybe get close to you and be fake. They wanted the person you were with, but maybe they didn't realize that this person was gonna betray them. But this person was always partying and playing games. So this is all backfiring in everyone's face who might have crossed your path, Scorpio. Because they were intimidated, they thought they could betray and play these games with you and be jealous and do it for the clout, but it's not getting them anywhere. So the truth's coming out about these people that are lurking, gossiping, trying to drain your energy with no limits because something's not going their way. Okay. This is the last row and then we'll get into the tarot. I was playing around my cards today and I like this layout a lot. So tell me, what is this lies being spread keep shining? Because someone's mad that you don't care about them or something or someone doesn't care about them. Yep, more than one option and love decision to be made. Relax, step back, trust your guides, a time for pause. So this person, this would be their other person or your ex who's spreading these lies and rumors. And it's like, just keep doing you. You're not even phased by this energy. They're saying, just relax. Don't even think about this shit. These people got bad influences and they are about to uh, see the truth for what it is because they want to come and take a leap of faith towards you, but you're turning your back on them. You know about their bad habits and you just went through a spiritual awakening and you're getting away from this energy as fast as possible. Good for you, Scorpio. Yo. Mm -hmm. What is meeting your match, deranged, and weird, twisted individual? <laughs> Unconditional love, oh boy, and marriage forever commitment with self love at the bottom of the deck and regret and I'm sorry and loyal passion for you, honesty and runner. Someone is mad at themselves for running away from you because they didn't know what they want and now they feel your unconditional love. But what they don't know is that you have a commitment coming through and they're going to get cut out of the picture for it because you love yourself more. Mm -hmm. What is this? Extroverted needs to talk, saying a lot. Yeah, this is the energy drainer talking about you a lot. Unawakened and ruled by the ego. Maybe telling everyone 
you know, you're their wish fulfillment, but they are in a third party. Soul contract, confusion, Mercury retrograde. They have been acting like they're alone, but they feel this past life connection and they want to reconcile. But they're not alone. They're a third party. Or you could have someone, you know what I'm saying? However that works for you, but this person is still ruled by their ego. Very black and white thinking. Mm -hmm. Mental prison. It's not healthy. So stay away from that person, Scorpio. You'll know who they are. What's this truth unveiled with the bad energy in this person who's got a, this harboring fear? Karmic partner, past life ties and lessons, and air, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So there are some air signs around you, or I feel just the air of truth coming out about karmic partners and people that were doing shit behind the scenes and gossiping on you. Um, and it's because you're leveling up in some way, or some of you, this could be someone that you're getting married to and people are trying to, you know, stick their head in. Because we got proposal, marriage, love, business offer, I love you. This person's really thought about it a lot, or you're in the process of thinking about this engagement or marriage and this union and your families coming together. But this person's not letting you go. They're, they're clinging. They're trying to suffocate your energy. And you are, you are creating healthy boundaries here. Stop, speak up, self-discipline with a new perspective and pay attention to your dreams. Your spirit guides are sending you messages through your dreams to look at it differently and change and create healthy um, boundaries with someone and speak up about what the truth is. And some of you, it is about leaving or moving forward away from this lustful energy and towards marriage, proposal, commitment. Damn. Okay, Scorpio, let's get into the tarot. All right, Scorpio, let's take a look at you and your person for this week. What do you need to know? We got the Wheel of Fortune and the Ace of Wands. Something new and creative, something that is faded for you, passion. What's coming for Scorpios in love this week? Them and the person on their mind. You got the King of Swords is just like the other reading. I'm taking it back. If it comes out again, we'll acknowledge it. Holy crap. This is all about truth this week. Or the authorities, okay? Who's coming towards Scorpio in love this week? You guys. What the fuck? <laughs> that is so crazy. Spirit is here today. What else? The Page of Cups. High Priestess is in the reverse at the bottom of the deck with death and death again. Oh my gosh, Scorpio. Someone has uh, been cut off telepathically from you. This could be a fellow King of Cups, someone that you broke up with in the past that's in love with you, or they could have Scorpio on their heart, or Pisces, but this is crazy as hell. This person's overly emotional about a breakup. They are in love with you, and they see that you probably have this Ten of Cups, or it's coming to you, for sure, because you're not... I feel like you're healing after finding out someone was lying to you about who they really were. And you could see that this person wasn't healed. So you went towards your Ten of Cups, Ace of Cups. Family, home, getting back to your roots, self-love, reflection. And then this person's just been at a distance kind of waiting to make their move towards you, Scorpio. But again, they could show up out of nowhere. And I feel like if you're dealing with a Pisces, it's no bueno, okay? But maybe it's just saying that after Pisces season, this person comes in with this apology, but they're feeling like you're this king of swords. And this breakup could have happened twice, is what I'm hearing. Or this transformation with you and this person. It's happened a couple of times. Who's coming towards Scorpio? The Eight of Pentacles. Sun in Virgo. And the Page of Pentacles. Capricorn. This is someone that's saying, I'm getting back to work, I'm getting back out there, I'm trying to get on my feet, or I want to work on this with you. Um, but they are going to try to act like they got a lot going on. As you can see, their back is turned to the reading. And I feel like it's someone who's working on something to impress you or to show you that they can be grounded with the page. Yep, and then the Ten of Pentacles. But they're not looking for a commitment. I'm also seeing that there could be a third, like a community of people that are talking about your income, your, your um, what you... What makes you so lucrative? How you have so much? Okay. Yeah, there's like a group of people talking about your money, like a community. And that maybe they're saying that there's no growth or emotional balance in a marriage or a commitment here. But the wheel's spinning on these people who lie. The chariot in the reverse with the knight of swords in the reverse in the wheel. Yeah, there's a big turn of events for these people that were maybe gossiping about your plans or your spirituality. Okay.
What's crowning? The five of swords, unhealed people, seven of cups was behind that. They're confused. Tell me more. The ace of cups. Yeah. This is all you, Scorpio. You got new love coming in. These people are pissed. What else? Oh, I told you. Okay. And I feel like with the Hermit in the reverse and the Seven of Cups, it's like you cannot breadcrumb Scorpio. You cannot get Scorpio to be stuck in their head about you. That shit's over. Yes, no more breadcrumbing. There was pain for you, Scorpio. You might have held on to it, but this could have been from an Aries, an Aquarius, Libra, Cancer, Pisces. But it was too much. And these people are spreading now like wildfire from all this bullshit they were trying to create and the confusion for you or um, just your mental, okay, your wisdom. They wanted you to be confused, but it didn't work. Hang on, guys. Layla wants to go out. All right. So this is really good for you guys, I feel. There's people that are mad about your two of cups because I'm seeing this as the couple here. Someone thought that if they came in with their offer, it would change everything. And look at how they're holding on to the three of swords. See what I'm saying? So someone that's still clinging to an old construct or a third party situation. Um, you could have known this person since a child with these pages. They could have a child or you could. It doesn't really matter, but I'm picking up on children. Someone has a water sign child and maybe an earth sign child, just like me. These are my kids. Um, but you're reviewing something from your past. You really are. And it's like you saw how much you offered this person emotionally, how sweet you were, Scorpio, whether you're a man or a woman. But you were still honest and blunt and clear like Scorpios are. And this person, I feel, was putting their efforts in maybe elsewhere. You know, they were trying to see what they could get out of something. And you were over here loving yourself and found new love. And now this person's showing up to the party late. Okay. What's the outcome for Scorpio and this person this week? Keep shining, baby. Mm -hmm. The Ten of Swords. Oh, my gosh. The Nine of Cups. And these both want to come out in the reverse. So just to read it that way, someone's like, this ain't over. And they're very overindulgent. So I'm talking about drinking too much, smoking too much, popping pills, um, not working out their mental issues, okay, just clinging to them and creating, digging a hole. That's what I call digging a hole. And then at the bottom, we got this, the Ten of Cups. Because why? You came out of your head about something? I don't know. But look at this shit. Two of Swords in the reverse, Justice in the reverse, and the High Priestess in the reverse. This is someone, this is an abusive witch, okay? Someone who abuses their power. Dark energy. This person has Pisces or Libra in their chart. What else is here? Let me see real quick. Possibly fire here. This person at a distance, which is, this is how it came out, wanted all of that but it didn't work out in their favor. Your ships are still coming in, and now these people want to apologize. Look at how they're begging you, because they were fake spiritualists. Whatever they were trying didn't work. Yeah, they were fighting their hardest. Notice the world card and the sun is here behind that. What's, who is this? The queen of wands in the reverse, the sun in the reverse in the world. Did you see my screen glitch? Because I sure in the hell did with the two of wands. So for me, this is a fire sign energy that could have like, Scorpio in their chart or they're they're just there to try to fuck with Scorpio for real and it's just not working so with this person who tried to act like they didn't do something with justice in the reverse and the two of swords and the high priestess um they're fucked it's as simple as that mm -hmm. there's not going to be any justice for this person whoever tried to create this conflict and it didn't work. Like I said, Scorpio, there was no, there's no way it worked. But now it's like they're starting to see that you still transform through this. Mm-hmm. And they're stuck. Look at how you're kind of pointing up, too, to these past energies, Scorpio, with your new love. You're like, mm-mm. No. Look at that. I'm so glad that that's over. Remember when this happened or remember when we used to act selfishly towards one another? I mean, for some of you, that could be it. But this person did not want you to have justice. Whoever this is, they're in a lot of trouble. This could be a, um, a Pisces or a Gemini or a Libra going through a divorce. Okay? And they are not happy. Three of Pentacles is at the top again with the Knight of Cups in the reverse. Yeah, someone didn't want someone to come towards you and now they can't hold them back from doing it anymore. Strong fire. 
And it has something to do with this King of Cups energy. They wanted you in the reverse. Mm-hmm. So for me, this is like, well, I was hoping you wouldn't improve yourself and that you'd still be stuck in a toxic energy. So now I feel like I got to put more effort in to get into your good graces. <laughs> That's literally what's happening. But you're already the Ten of Cups or about to be with someone else. You've already put this to bed a long time ago and went after what you wanted while they were being selfish. Look at this. Some more over drinks. The King of Cups in the reverse with the Temperance. Mm-hmm. Well, they're trying to get their emotions in control because someone's very emotional. All right. What's the page of cups with the king of swords? Libra, Virgo, and Pisces. What is this for Scorpio this week? Oh, wow. Look at this. Nine of pentacles and the nine of swords just popped out. But the nine of swords is in the reverse. So you're not going to be worried about money this week for sure. Okay. <laughs> you're removing mental blocks. Some of you, this is about becoming single. Or just being honest about what you want to become independent. I like it. What else? The Page of Cups in the reverse. The Knight of Cups in the reverse. So this Page of Cups is the one that didn't want you to get this Ten of Cups, okay? This is going to be a Pisces. Yep, they wanted some communication to be blocked for you. Someone views you as their Emperor or Empress, and they didn't want you to have this commitment. Ten of Pentacles, you see what I'm seeing, right? This person really thought they could fuck with your shit. This could even be someone in their mama. Okay? Yeah. But it didn't work. They can see they see they can't stop this person. Or whatever they said isn't stopping someone from coming towards their emperor or empress here. Yeah. And it's because this person, look, they can't walk away and they can't heal from you, but they also see there's no growth. And then we have the king of wands in the reverse with the high priestess. So you know that someone is a hoe or a player. Five of swords. Your intuition told you this. And again, there's emphasis on all these fire signs in the reverse, even in the other reading. So please look out for this. This is someone that is um, pretending like they don't constantly think about you and what you got going on. And they're a Cantor, strong Pisces, or a Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. So they're ups they were maybe thinking that they could get in through your good graces and you turn them down. That's what I'm hearing. You're not focused on that. Mm -mm. Where is it going? So, yeah, you're pushing these people away from you. Seven of Swords in the reverse. You know that they're toxic. Seven of Cups is at the bottom, tethered to a loved one of justice in the reverse. The truth needs to be revealed, period. Okay? Someone, um... If there's a, if you know a Gemini, they could be going, they could be avoiding jail, but they're going to be going to jail soon. I'm sorry, but that's what I heard. And they're tethered to the idea of keeping you confused, but they can't. So that's why this is coming in. Yep, someone has been, if you did like some recent cord cutting or something like that, someone has been released from your energy or your mental they were trying to mirror you, and now they see that they can't. They can't keep you in denial. They can't keep you stuck. Someone was definitely trying to keep you stuck, Scorpio. So you pushed them out. Mm -hmm. Immature water signs, maybe even uh, fire. But the Seven of Swords for me is like, that's the affair card. That's the sneakiness. That's the lies. And you're not taking any part of it. You're like sending these people back to where they came from. <laughs> like, I think you're lost. <laughs> you need to turn around. What's, who's this person coming towards Scorps? Oh my gosh. Ho business. Knight of Wands in the reverse. The Five of Swords in the reverse. Oh my God. This is terrible. And they're lying. And the Five of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles at the bottom with the Fool. Um, this could be, um, let me see, because you still got this Ten of Cups here. I'm going to show you, Scorpio. You're not heartbroken over an old third-party situation. We got the Three of Swords with the Three of Cups in the reverse and the Ten of Pentacles. You're going towards, like, this is even, like, the way you grew up. So, like, your family members, people around you, the people that you celebrated with, the people that you know, created pain or the people that created joy in your life. Lots of threes are here and you're evaluating that and you're only letting the people in that are good for you. That's why that's in the reverse back there and you got the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles, right? 
But someone here wants you to themselves and they can't because they're the emperor or the empress in the reverse. They can't fight like you. And again, this could be an Aries, a Taurus, or a Capricorn. But they they don't have what it takes and they'll tell you i feel like they lie about their finances um yeah this is someone that lies about their finances this could also be someone who has sex for money aries leo sagittarius capricorn what they could have been paying for sex as well whoever this is and they're trying to cover up what they've done mm-hmm and they're in a very stuck energy with these fives. What else, Spirit? And they want to still try to come in and hit. Nine of Cups, very... <laughs> you got your wish fulfillment, and they want a piece of it. Queen of Cups in the reverse. There's your Pisces Cancer, someone who's juggling. They think they can change this Five of Cups to the Two of Cups. They're overly emotional here. Um, they want someone to make a decision between two. So if you're dealing with, like... Um, a feminine, I feel like she's very emotional right now. If she's from the past, she could have fire in her chart, like Cancer Pisces. But then I feel like it could also be an immature fire sign in your energy as well that is really focused on your wishes coming true. And they secretively watch and get emotional about it. This could also be a very flirty, energy, secret admirer, and this is the person who's want to come, come toward you and tell you, but they're not going to reveal the truth about everything. I feel like someone's lying about where they're going for work or what they do for work or actually putting in a physical effort, but they're there to, for the sex, Scorpio, always. <laughs> and I don't like it. I've just noticed this looks like an evil face to me. Let me see if you guys can see it. I feel like this person is not does not have the best intentions for you okay and they're into some weird shit now i'm a scorpio i'm a freak okay i'm into some shit but this person's into some other shit okay that's what i'm picking up on in this reading yes <laughs> maybe a capricorn i don't know but the truth's coming out it's definitely coming out here Yeah, someone doesn't want something to be over and they're still t they're still bound to something here. I feel like someone was stuck in toxic energy and was overdoing things and not closing out cycles and now they're they're forced to face the truth and that's you cuz you're this king of swords right now. What's behind the king of swords? The tethered one with the 10 of wands in the reverse. Death in the reverse and strength with the lovers. So someone really thought they could bring burdens to a connection here and it's just not working. People know this person is a liar that's moving off of their sexual desires and that they don't have much in their life, that they need to get to work and apply themselves or go back to school and learn something new. What's the five of swords? The three of swords. I, I knew it because this person's still hanging on to those three swords, just like I said. Seven of pentacles. They don't want to see you have growth in another connection but you're still upright. And then we got the King of Wands in the reverse. So this is your hoe who won't move on and is trying to come towards your new blessing and hope that you don't fully walk away from them emotionally, Scorpio. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So they're looking over their shoulder to see where you're at. And they're hoping things haven't changed. They're hoping, but you're already at the Nine of Pentacles. <laughs> so sucks for them. And you're living your best life, okay? That's what I feel. Why do I get that this is you whining and dining somewhere? <laughs> like, <laughs> uninterested in people that don't bring growth and only heartache. What is the Ace of Cups? Because now we're getting to the goods. The High Priestess, the Eight of Swords, ooh, in the reverse, and then the Four of Wands. Um, with the Nine of Cups also in the reverse, it wanted to come on. So they told me right away, yes, there could be this Piscean energy around you that's not happy for your blessings, but they're also upset because you're not stuck in your head and you're still listening to your intuition and this is what's creating your stability, Scorpio, and they know that because you love yourself. They should try it. Mm-hmm. And I feel like this is also a blessing from the universe and from God. Whatever this is for you, Scorpio. Yeah, you're cutting off toxic people at a distance. Look at this. Silence. Because these people were liars, gossipers at a distance from you who were toxic. Maybe we're trying to talk to a Capricorn or an Aries Leo Sag about you, possible Libra Virgo. 
Yeah, this just created more burdens for them. Because mm -hmm, they don't have balance here. Queen of Wands energy is here with the Chariot in the reverse. Knight of Swords. Someone might have tried to communicate something to a Cancer. And that didn't work here. This person's not interested. They're letting go. Because it's too difficult to deal with this person. Because they don't say what they should. But they lie. And so now everything that this person says is uncredible. Yeah. Incredibly uncredible. So what's the two of cups? Ooh. Ooh. So the secret's coming out that you are taken after this breakup or whatever this, you know, situation was in the past where someone didn't want to make a choice of, about commitment. Yeah, the emperor's in the reverse, ace of cups. They chose to not make a decision in the past and then to let go of the idea of love or commitment with you. And that's their own fault, whoever this person is. They, they didn't have that in mind, all right? And someone came in that did, okay? After this person and you broke up, they didn't want to make a choice, right? So Scorpio did what they do and they moved on and they told this person, I feel like a lot of secrets came out and then you definitely knew to push this person away. But what the moon does is it shines light where we can't see, right? So I feel like you weren't seeing that this Aries Leo Sag, possible water sign. Who else did we have here? Um, Yeah, Aries, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Sag, Leo. They didn't want you to have this commitment or um, this relationship with this person at all. And I do have, I was just stopping because I have two two of cups like this. And this is the mature one. So this could be someone you're renewing a relationship with, but you've known this person before. And if it is new love, it's like this is going to be your soulmate. There's no doubt in your mind. So there's, you feel like there's secrets from this person coming out and they are, but you're not even caring. That's what I'm seeing here. You're not even caring about it. It's like you you don't care. You're pushing it away. You feel like it's toxic. It's not good for your emotions or your money right now. You feel like if you do give in to this, that it would change your direction. Mm -hmm. So what is this Ten of Swords with the Nine of Cups that wanted to come out in the reverse? I want to clarify that first. What is this? Mm-hmm. Yeah, this person's really wanting to come in and bring justice after a terrible ending with you. They want to show that they can come in and work on this relationship. Some of you, they might even bring you something here. we got the Wheel of Fortune with the King of Wands, but they will still breadcrumb you. And they're definitely keeping something secret about something between them and an Aries Leo Sagittarius, okay? They might have confided in this person, all right? But this person didn't help them heal. You did. So they want to come in and work on this connection. But what's done is done, is what I'm hearing. You know? What's done is done. So what is this Ten of Cups for my Scorpios? Because this is what we've been waiting for. What is this Ten of Cups? Oh boy, someone definitely wants to pour toxicity into this shit and they're not telling you about it. Ten of Wands, Knight of Swords, Leo. Yep, Leo's in the reverse twice. Cancer, this Queen of Wands who's stalking you here. Lying. Ooh, you guys, these people are in a lot of fucking trouble. I'm not going to lie to you. With the Four of Swords being here, they're being put to bed. Spirit is coming in and, and taking out the trash for you, Scorpio. Yep, put that out back. Because mm -hmm. it's toxic. They want to come in and spread lies. Whoever this person is, they're going to come in and spread lies about you, your person. They're trying to pour toxicity into your connection. And to them, that would be fair because then they could have you. Oh, my gosh. No. So there's going to be justice in this, Scorpio. Okay? Just understand that. And you and your person are going to be laughing at these energies. Like, what the fuck were they, what were they thinking? <laughs> Actually, I see that. I do. All right. Let's see what else you guys need to know. What does this person not want my Scorpios to know? What does this person not want my Scorpios to know? Hothead, temperamental anger issues acting out. Be right back. Time apart, communication delays, left waiting. 
and extra overdoing it, trying too hard, unnecessary. Oh, this person's about to trip, Scorpio. Ooh, they are about to trip. Or I should say snap, crackle, and pop because they feel like you're making them wait on you. This person definitely, this is giving me a Sagittarius who doesn't know how to control their anger. This is giving me a Cancer Pisces that doesn't want to move their ass. And this is giving me a fire sign that won't let you go. That just keeps trying to be unnecessary, but they're irrelevant. Then we got heart to heart at the bottom. Deep conversations, intimate discussions, blunt and honest. I told you you were being blunt and honest with people about shit. And you're, you're being sweet about it too, Scorpio, with the Page of Cups. And you're focused on yourself, Nine of Pentacles. All these other people are leaving the reading. And you're standing in your power right in the center of this reading. What actions does this person plan on taking towards Scorpio? Flashy, bougie, over-exaggerating status, fake flexing. I told you somebody was mad. Maybe they didn't think you had all this wealth or something. Or maybe you hid it from them and now they see it and they're upset. Or they're mad that you found out that they're fake flexing. Uh-huh. Open book. So you used to really talk to this person a lot, is what I feel. And now they miss that shit. No shame, showing vulnerability, putting it all out there. Yeah, they miss your authenticity, Scorpio. What's um extra? Dating scene, casual dates, keeping options open, going with the flow. So they're really, <laughs> they're mad that you're either dating again or they're going to try to be extra and flaunt that in front of you, Scorpio. But really, this person misses you. They're going to be an open book, but they're going to be, be a little too extra for me. Like, they're going to lie about their money. They're going to lie about a lot of things. Why? Because they want to bounce back. Perseverance, overcoming obstacles, and making a comeback. Mm-hmm. What's the outcome in this situation for this person who's trying to come towards Scorpio? Vibing on the same page, like attracts like, feel good connection. Tindering, online dating, seeking love interest, meeting new people. So they're going to see that you're vibing. Maybe it is with a flashy person or you're the flashy person. And they're angry about that. So they're going to try to go meet new people online. Mm-hmm with friend zoned unrequited love platonic connection unreciprocated affections and you're going to let this person know that you don't want this and at the bottom we got bridging gaps reunion closing out distance coming together so for me this is like this person reaching out to you asking you how you feel about them can they come back into your life and you creating a healthy boundary for this person but saying you know you're standing on your word king of swords page of cups mm -hmm. okay scorpio Let's see what your, it's such a calm day today. It's like raining and calm. I love it. Let's see what your coffee cups are. You have news and messages, um, survival and power, the shark, and stability and security, the anchor. So people, I feel like you have a lot of people communicating with you because you're stable, because you overcome a lot of things. People like what you got going on, Scorpio. Give me this damn card. Here we go. But then I see, too, this energy of, like, someone trying to steer you away, you know? Like, if you're already anchored and you've got all these good things coming in for you and good news about stability and your security, then why is someone here trying to come in? breach so I feel like this is a breach and you're not letting it happen you're not letting people come in and play with your emotions you're swimming away from the situation Scorpio you're getting anchored into stability and you're letting people know here with the messages and communication mm -hmm. maybe it's just through messages or something like that all right let's see what's next for my Scorpios I just saw lady spider web with the battlefield. So I feel like someone's definitely trying to create some kind of like gossip about you, Scorpio. Situationship and complexities. No, we're not. Let me ask the question. What's coming towards Scorpios in love this week? What do they need to know? What's coming towards my babies in love? Uh -huh. Final dance. Last chance. All or nothing. Not playing games. The key to closed doors, unlocking mysteries, access to new experiences, what was closed before is now open. There's something about your intuition too being really heightened this week or a new door being unlocked to your intuition, Scorpio, or your success. 
with the Grim Reaper. Break up divorce, clearing away the old, cutting something or someone off. Wow. So once you hear this truth, you're definitely cutting off this person. Whatever it is, you're going to say, I gave you this chance, and then some new information comes out, and you're like, bye. Nope. It's at the bottom. We got negative emotions towards this divine love and the rule breaker. So someone's trying to say that someone broke the rules in a connection, and this could very well be it. Or someone's getting an ultimatum after. Where is it leading? Lighting the way, setting an example of the light of their life, setting strong boundaries. I told you. Miracles, miracles are unfolding. Blessings are surrounding you and luck is on your side. And then the unexpected surprises, expect the unexpected shocking revelation. Someone is literally going to have like a surprise breakup. We got strong to gold at the bottom, the perfect match in the solar eclipse. This is happening by the solar eclipse, you guys. So... They know that you are the person for them, but they also know they fucked up a lot. So they don't know if you'll give them a second chance. Then you've got new doors that are opening here and miracles with all this luck on your side. Okay. And then this unexpected ending comes in and a shocking revelation. And it says solar eclipse, unexpected major changes, cosmic intervention, powerful changes of the heart, perfect match, great chemistry, highly compatible, quick connection, and alchemy, receiving what was lost, creating something out of nothing, straw into gold. So these could be someone's, you know, conceptions of where this relationship could go, and I feel like the eclipse is really heightening this person's feelings for you. They feel like you're it. Yep, this person really does. So I feel like you can expect this person to come in during the solar eclipse mm -hmm. and they are gonna lay it on you scorpio yes they are all right let's get some romance angels scorpio and the person on their mind what's next in love for scorpios this week scorpios wow calling in your soulmate <laughs> it slipped right in my face i can't ignore that the person coming towards scorpio Oh, wow. Yeah, there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. This could be them saying they're leaving a situation as well, but let me know how it fits. And then in the center, between the two of you, we have pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you and stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. I feel like there's options coming in and you're like, they're not good enough. I'm calling in my soulmate right now. Mm -hmm. Attraction and chemistry. I can't make it up, you guys. Attraction and chemistry. And I feel like someone does want you to forgive and give this relationship a chance, but you feel like you deserve love. And that's what spirit's been telling you. And that's why this new love's coming in. Maybe it is by the solar eclipse. You have an epiphany about this person or them you, but it is deep, very deep. Because something was supposed to end or is going to end abruptly. Quite abruptly. All right, messages from spirit. Where are you? And then we will close out. So what advice do we have for Scorpio? And then we'll go to all signs, not close on. What advice do we have for Scorpios in love or in general this week, Spirit? What do you want them to know? It says divine assistance. Your prayers have been heard. The divine is currently supporting and guiding you. Allow yourself to receive. Oh my God, look at that. Ooh. One more for Scorpio. Initial spark. There is potential in a person or a situation to develop into something in the future. How you approach it is up to you. Oh, shit. <laughs> That's that perfect match. There's the spark. Mm -hmm. Maybe you really aren't expecting this, Scorpio. Whatever this news and messages is. And then we got the unseen, which is reminding me a lot of this solar eclipse. Look at this. And divine feminine is behind that with focus on your own game. So it says there's not always, or things are not always as they appear. Be thorough and keep your eyes open. There's something you're not seeing. Unexpected major changes. Yeah, these cards are very cohesive. So this is something coming during the solar eclipse, you guys, that you should be ready for. But it's going to be good for you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I don't know about the other people you're dealing with, but whatever this is, it's better than you expected by the solar eclipse. Mm-hmm. I think I want it here, actually. Yeah. All right. 
So let's go over to all signs. All right, Scorpios, let's get it. You and all the zodiac signs, what do you need to know in love this week? Thank you to my time stampers. You are amazing. I love you. All right, starting with Scorpio and Aries, what do you need to know? Resurrection, what you thought to be lost forever will come back and you will witness the impossible made possible with the perfect match, compatible mutual desire. Ooh, you and Aries are hitting it off big time. With what? Ooh, shit. It says, I know that we've crossed paths for a reason. What we have is unexplainable. Damn, okay. So this could be the Aries that's been trying to do a lot of things behind the scenes to get your attention, Scorpio. Mm -hmm. Leo and Scorpio, we have telepathy. The telepathy you share cannot be ignored. Your words are slowly leaving imprints on their heart. With a new beginning, a fresh start, doing things differently. Mm. And then we have, I'm looking for a committed relationship. I'm ready to settle down and have a family. A Leo is wanting a family and a commitment with Scorpio. Scorpio and a Sag. New perspective. They've gained a new perspective and now see how they failed you by their own sabotaging behaviors. With falling in love, early stages, awakening the heart. Fire signs are looking good for Scorpio today. And then we have my heart drops. Every time I hear that song playing, I immediately think of you. So someone's thinking, these fire signs are thinking about you really hard, Scorpio. Damn. Scorpio and Aquarius. It says the journey, this love journey may be long and challenging, but as long as you are with them, they'll never walk alone. And broken promises, betrayal, letdown, unreliable. So they liked being on your coattails, but they weren't in it for the long haul. With I am an opportunist, if I see an opportunity... From someone I'm going to take it so they told on themselves there Scorpio and Libra I knew it fairy tale they think this kind of love only happens in fairy tale stories because to them you're too perfect to believe it's true oh sorry and then we have playing the field cheater player keeping options open so they might have dealt with a lot of players and they feel like it's too good to be true that you're loyal with I wish we had a reset button I want to show you that I've changed but I know that you don't trust me because of our past. Or, yeah, they were the cheater. <laughs> and they, they passed you up, but it was meant to be. Rejection is God's protection. Scorpio and a Gemini. Innocence. Your innocence and kind heart makes them love you, but feel they must push you away to protect you from them. With tricky situations, situationship complicated. So you're dealing with a non-committal Gemini here. What's the outcome? I get off on the chase. Once I get a piece of you, I'm going to disappear. Okay, so fuck off then, Gemini. All right. Whoever Gemini that is. <laughs> Scorpio and a Capricorn. We have lack of faith. Leaving you on the cold has been one of their biggest regrets, which has made them lose hope in the situation. Then we have not yet certain, unsure of desires and confusion. So you've got a Capricorn around you that's just like slow, okay, with what? I trust you. I bet you do, Capricorn, but we don't trust you. You don't know what you want, so. <laughs> Scorpio and a Taurus. The fight. Their inner warrior is being activated. They're getting ready to fight for you and overcome their fears of love with suffering in silence, hiding the pain, and putting up a front. Oh, they said, I'm not suffering in silence anymore. I'm coming for Scorpio. When the alcohol is strong, all I see is you. So this could be someone calling with liquid courage this week, Scorpio. Scorpio and a Virgo. Dark side. They have a dark side that no one knows but feels it's their true side and too afraid to show you with life partner, future marriage, the one in union. Weird. Hmm. Maybe they're into some weird sexual stuff they're afraid to bring into a union with you. I have no idea what that is. What's the outcome? <laughs> they, want, they want you to be their life partner, but they're hiding something says, I don't want to play he said, she said. If there's something you want to address, please let me know. And I feel like that's how you're coming off to this person. They're like, just tell me what's going on. Mm -hmm. You are them. Cancer and Scorpio. Healing. They're at the end of a big healing cycle, coming to peace with their past and bringing back balance to the connection. Call or text. Expression, conversation, information. 
So you could be hearing from a Cancer who wants to heal things with you, Scorpio. And then we have, I can't tell you how many times I picked up my phone and dialed your number. I have so much to say and I don't know where to begin, so I don't say anything at all. Jesus, figure it out, Cancer. Scorpio and Pisces. Uprooting, they're leaving all that's familiar to them or long-term relationship to start a brand new life with you. We were kind of seeing that in your reading. Devoted to you, faithful, trustworthy, and loyal. Okay. Scorpio and Pisces are looking good this week. And then we have, I know you want kids, but I don't. I hope this isn't a deal breaker. So whatever that is for you and a Pisces. And then Scorpio and a Scorpio. Love is a fire. You've set their heart on fire and the soul ever burning and unquenchable. It's a natural and undeniable connection. Holy shit. With needs more time. Figuring things out and creating space. You might be doing this, Scorpio. You might be creating space with someone that you have this really strong connection to because you're fearful right now or you just need more time. And then we have, I have your pictures hidden on my phone. I never delete them because I can't erase you from my life for good. Oh, Scorpio. This person is stuck on you. Let's see what everyone's getting at the bottom of the deck. We have taking aim. They have stepped into their power and they're taking action toward you. They will not miss the mark this time. Broken, they feel broken inside and don't feel stable enough to trust themselves with your heart at this time. Be patient. So it's not the right time, it's the right time. And then we have dreams. They've been dreaming so much about you and want to manifest their dreams into reality. Wow. Yeah. And then we have a mysterious one. The mystery of you intrigues them. You keep them guessing and engaged. Very different from the rest. But of course, we are Scorpio. So what do you expect? With taking aim, we have eternal bond, love of a lifetime, unforgettable. You make them want to step up. With broken, we have excess baggage, needs a lot of work, living in the past, so be patient with this person, they're healing, or you could be. And then checking their messages with dreams, looking at old messages, hoping you text, and thinking of you behind that. So this person's like, for real, daydreaming, missing you, Scorpio, wanting all of it. Mm -hmm. And then let's just, I'm curious, look, the rival in self-sabotaging behavior. So they did choose someone else over you, and now they wish they didn't. Wow. Then we have, I'm too afraid to fight for you. I'm sorry. So see how they go from, I'm going to take aim. Oh, no, I can't. <laughs> and then we have, I can't trust you here with the access baggage. So they know that they're not trusted. And so they just, re like, retract. And then we have, it takes a lot for me to put my pride aside with their messages. So this could be someone who's been waiting for you to message them the whole time, but you're not. And it says, I talk to my friends about you all the time. I told you that's what I was seeing. And then I notice every little detail about you from the way that you walk to the way that you go so hard for the people that you love. I'm being sincere. I felt like you didn't have time for me, so I removed myself to make it easier for you. Mm -hmm. So. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Please don't forget to hit like and subscribe. I love, love, love you guys. Bye.